I'm out of the trailer. If you're a pretty avid biker and you do like to go camping a lot and you like to bring your bikes too, but you need more access to the back of your 2023 Nissan Rogue, then the Rocky Mountains After Party is gonna be a great option for you because this is gonna be able to swing away and give you more space to really load this up with whatever you have, whether that be a cooler, any other gear, or you just need it open up for prolonged periods of time. So let's check it out. So we're actually getting a really nice fit on the back of our road. I've test fitted a lot of options and this space we're getting right now with the mountain bike is more than ideal because we have plenty of space in between a pedal and the back of the road. Even if you're hitting those really bumpy roads, we're definitely not gonna make contact with the back or on our windshield with our handlebars. What's really nice is we're gonna be able to carry a variety of different types of bikes. One of those being e-bikes because we're gonna have a 60 pound weight capacity per bike and we're still gonna get a really nice tilt. To show you what I mean is if I just pull this back. And what's nice is too, is all these touch points are gonna to be blue. So it's pretty intuitive. Now I can come over here, open up the back. And this is nice because for a few reasons, if you just wanna get ready, maybe grab some groceries or just sit down, tie your shoes, you're gonna have that ability. But if I just push this back into place and put this up, and let me actually show you that swing away option too. And to do that, we have to have this in the stow position. We're also gonna have this blue handle. If I just loosen that up, once I loosen that up, we'll reach a point where everything feels like it's detached. Once you reach that point, we're gonna have an additional pin back here that I'm gonna pull. That's gonna release everything. We're still attached, so I'm just loosen that up just a bit more till we're free. And now, this is what I was talking about, this being really ideal for those camping situations. Because if I do need access to the back of the Rogue a lot of times, and if I'm carrying that big cooler with all my drinks, my food in it, I need to place it here, trying to get around that bike rack is gonna be pretty difficult. Now I'm gonna be honest with you, if you're not really going camping at all, and you're still going out doing a lot of bike rides, then I'd actually recommend just sticking with the Rocky Mounts guide rail bike rack. Because it is the exact same thing as this, only it just doesn't have the swingway option. And we're gonna bring it back in. And make sure we pull both pins, because one's gonna pivot that arm, the other one's gonna pivot how this carrier sits. Push it into place, and now tighten everything back down. Now, if you wanna take a closer look at this rack, I'm gonna to to take off the bike. Where I like to start is just by releasing these two buttons on the side. After I finish tightening this up, the way we release those buttons though, it's actually pretty simple. It's blue, so we know we're gonna press it or use it. We just press in or release and push out. I like to start with just one at a time. And sometimes this can get kind of stuck, so just kind of, kind of wiggle a bit and push or free right up. I'm gonna repeat that on the back side too. And this is the second reason why this is great for a variety of different types of bikes because we're not making frame contact. So if you have an alternative frame bike, carbon frame bike, or you have a bike with a really nice paint job, you don't wanna scuff it up, then that's really nice because we're not gonna to touch anything. But with the bike off, I can take it out for a ride. And now, when you're driving with it, you wanna make sure you put everything back up too. That's really easy to do with this rack. You have two options. So you can just leave that button up, push it back down. The important thing is when you push it back down, to push that lever down so it locks into place. On the other side, you could actually just start by pressing that button down and instead it's gonna ratchet into place. Well, let's get a few measurements to see how this is gonna live on the back of the Rogue. Where I'm gonna start is gonna be the ground clearance. 
And as you can already see, this is pretty high up. And going from that handle right there, that's gonna be at 22 inches. So like I said, that is pretty high. And so if you are loading this up with those heavier e-bikes, it's probably gonna drop down maybe by an inch or two, but we're definitely not gonna make ground contact. Now the counter to that is when we are loading this up with e-bikes, that's gonna be a pretty high lift. So definitely think about that because that's gonna be pretty difficult sometimes. Now, I wanna get that total distance that's gonna stick out. That's gonna be a little bit over 26 inches. Again, not too bad. It is something to think about though, if you're in some tighter spots, like a parking spot or a garage. If you wanna save some space though, you can totally do that. All you have to do is pull that blue handle again that we used to tilt it back earlier. But this time, push up, no click into place. And this is actually a really tight fit. If you look over here, if I go from the closest point, looks like it's gonna be one of these arms. That's just barely over an inch. But this is a really secure rack. Even with me shaking it, that's barely moving. I definitely couldn't see that making contact with the back of our vehicle. Now for the total distance it will stick out, that's gonna be just about from the handle down there a little bit under 11 inches. So that's gonna save you a ton of space overall. As for how it's living back here, it will block a few things. So it's gonna partially block your license plate. It's still visible, it's just blocking some sections of it. And your backup camera is probably gonna catch a decent amount of this. It still should be usable, but I'd still rely on using your back window and mirrors. But as far as taillights and back window are concerned, that's going to be completely good. As for the way this is going to install, we're going to have a two inch shank and that's going to go into a two inch hitch receiver. We'll have an anti-rattle bolt go through and connect to this lock core. And that, that uh, anti-rattle bolt is what's really securing everything down. That's why we have such a good fit today. And that lock is just giving us a little bit more security so no one can take our rack. This is also gonna come with a bike chain, so you can actually secure your bikes down to this rack so no one can take your bikes either. But at the end of the day, I think this is a great rack. If you are going, doing a lot of camping, you're doing a lot of bike riding, this is one of the perfect options for you. Now, if you're not doing that camping, like I said earlier, the guide rail is gonna be a nice option because a few things, it's gonna be at the lowest cost, it's gonna take up less room, and it's gonna be lighter, so it's easier to take on and off your vehicle. But again, if you're a camper, you're a bike rider, then this would be my option for you. But that's just a look at the Rocky Mounts after party on the back of our 2023 Nissan Rogue. I'm Matt, thanks for watching. Here we are on our test course. As we hit the alternating bumps, you can see what it would be like to hit a pothole on the road. Our solid speed bumps simulate pulling in and out of a driveway or hitting a speed bump in a parking lot. We use the slalom portion of our course to simulate the side-to-side -side movement, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvers.